Hey guys, I'm back for another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you it's such a cool thing, guys. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to be making your own texture packs for free. Like, you don't even have to download anything, it's a website and you can make it totally for free. It is no virus, I swear to you guys. And this is some of the textures I made. This is like this diamond sword, uh, I changed into this pink thing. Um, like pink type thing and it's still a diamond sword and I changed the creeper texture as you can see it looks like really weird I didn't spend too much time into these textures textures um but as you can see the diamond sword still works and um like if I go in game mode survival like the functions of the creeper will still like happen so it'll still blow up and stuff uh, and then like we can, I may like change the chicken texture uh, to this green thing and then I changed the golden apple texture um, which immediately changed the, changed the enchanted golden apple texture and yeah so that's like all the textures I changed um, pretty much um, but like yeah in this video I'm just showing you guys how to make your own texture pack like this and Let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to be wanting to search up Nova Skin Texture Pack uh, or Texture Pack Creator, Resource Pack Creator on Nova Skin. I mean, just search up on Google and what you're going to see, click on the first link and you're going to see this. Now click on local on the left side and I have two projects right here. Just click new and you get your project. I'm just gonna name this like YouTube or tutorial. Okay, and then your author name, I mean whatever your name is. So I'm just gonna put uh snorting pig eighty eight. So now we have a new project. So if you click on that project, you'll only see this thing, sound.json or whatever. And then click so what you're gonna be wanting to do to see, you know, change the um mob textures and stuff is click just get out of this project area and then click on see in minecraft you'll see entities blocks realm sounds items armor so click on i'm going to do one entity for example oh, i can scroll down which one should i do let's do let's do shield okay so we can click on shield and this is the texture of the shield uh, so on the right side you can like change it with over here by or we can just change over here and paint on top of the original texture which is easier easier so you have these uh like six yeah six um default colors but if you want like custom colors you can just click on this button right here and choose your custom colors so let's get a nice little blue shield texture and we just gotta let's just outline the sides or let's just uh change this like entirely let's let's make it a circle shield okay so you're just gonna click on this um button uh, which you have here this erase button and you can just erase all of this okay now i'm gonna make like my shield like the shield texture a circle so let's just make this fully gone and then we can like change the back side too So now that that's gone, we can go on this side and we can change this too. So like it's kind of like a weird circle type texture, but it's going to be a little hard um, to do that. So let's just make a simple, nice little texture, which we can do in just a few seconds uh, so that I can explain to you guys. So let's get red and let's change these dots to red and then we can change the outside to a nice little red too. So now we kind of have a red, like wherever it's metal, we just have a red metal. And then we can like change the texture on the top and the back side and stuff. And you can, you know, change it to whatever you want. Now there is a way to use other people's textures, but I honestly don't use other people's textures. I'll just use my own, I just use my own textures. Um, just like that, you have your own, um, I mean, you have your own custom texture shield on the back side. Now I can like paint this black on the back side. 
I don't know why, and then we can just kind of make a black texture over here and just fill this entire thing with black. Um, and yeah, pretty much, we can just change this entire thing black and have a nice little black kind of weird shield texture. Now, how are you gonna, now once you're done with the texture, you're gonna click on save on the top and give this texture a name so you don't have to. I'm just gonna go in save resources, click select a resource pack or a resource pack project and then click on your resource pack. So right here, I have this tutorial thing. So you just click on that and then you can like change the texture but it should just automatically choose the correct texture. Also, uh, no need to worry about this, and then just click save, and you're done. It's automatically saved in that project. Now, we let's change a different thing, like a block. Um, we'll find a nice, I mean, a weird, let's try and find a block which we can change. So, uh, let's change um, bedrock, for example. Uh, we can just turn this entire thing um, into, with a random green specs on it you know a bunch of stuff like that and then we can go and blue and then do the same thing on this side and then red and then black white um yeah pretty much now you have like this really weird texture just click save save resources i mean it's already selected now just click save okay now Let's go to the last thing, an item. Let's find like the, um, let's find the, let's get the water bucket. And just, now we have like water, right? So, I mean like a water bucket texture. So let's change this to like acid. So now, guess what? Water is acid. Yay, not the best. And just, you know, draw this blue into uh, just red okay and then just click i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do one last thing and i just chill with our textures just click save uh save resources and then just click on save now that we have a few you know we have a few stuff um over here we have a few different textures uh, we can change one last one which is armor or let's change let's change an actual entity like some mob let's change the iron golem texture i'm not going to do go too into it i'm just going to change these red eyes into uh, into green eyes i know i'm doing green everything and then we can like make a smiley face over here and then we can like make like realistic eyebrows. Okay, and then we can like change this into green. Um, you can just change this into green. So what I can do, I just fill you the fill to just kind of just fill all of this together fill random parts you know and now just like that we have like our custom texture uh, of the iron golem and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some more creepy stuff like blood coming down his mouth and like there's like blood all over him bloody tears and you know, random stuff is like save and then save. And now we're gonna go in your local and click on that resource pack and you won't see anything really. And then on the top, you'll see download zip. Just click on that. And now we'll head back to Minecraft. Okay, so I'm back in the same world. Um, and I already have two resource packs in here, this pig and this forest. <coughs> Excuse me, and then go in resource packs, open pack folder, and then just, I'm just gonna drag this 
and you should see it in your downloads just drag it from your downloads and then you should see it come right inside of your thing you should just find it as you can see i found it just click yes and click done now just remember if it says fail to copy packs or something um the only way to fix it i mean there are probably other ways but how i fix it is that I go in folders and then I go in the dot Minecraft folder in the resource pack and then I just drag the uh, my resource pack zip folder into resource packs in that dot Minecraft folder. Um, so now that we have this, now like you see that nothing changed because like what what did we change again? We changed like the um, what I forgot what we changed. Literally, I forgot what we changed. I think, yeah, we changed the shield texture. Uh, the shield sh texture should be, yeah, as you see, the shield texture. And the icon immediately ta changes too, but you can like make a custom icon too for it. So like the texture is different and the icon is different. And as you can see, we have our own shield. Um, just like that, we have like a custom shield type thing. Um, and it's working. Our texture is working now. I forgot what else we changed. Um, I think we changed like an entity. We changed the iron golem. So let me just spawn an iron golem real quick, and uh, we should see the new texture um, in our iron golem. As you can see, it's. A totally new texture. Um, it looks like it looks exactly like the texture we got. And what else did we change? I forgot what else we changed. We changed like the uh, some block or item we changed. Um, like I forgot what though. So let me just go ahead and check what I changed in my recording and then we can get back to this okay so I remember the last thing that we changed was the water bucket and as you can see it is completely acid now you'll see that like there's no like like the water hasn't actually turned into acid because we didn't change the water texture um but the bucket texture has definitely changed um so like it is like looks like the old texture of water bucket in minecraft but the, the new texture is different um but we did get our t new texture so like yeah so that's all of our stuff our new textures in our one point um 1.18 1. so just remember that these resource packs of no skin don't uh, uh I can't even speak. Don't like always uh, work on the latest updates of Minecraft. And the first time, the first time I uh, made my resource pack, uh, made my first resource pack, that honestly didn't work. It says fail to copy pack. So that you kind of just have to go in folders and find the dot. Just go in start. A button like the start and then just search a colon like a uh, percentage app data percentage and then click enter and this thing comes and you'll see dot minecraft in it and dot minecraft just click on that and you'll see a section in dot minecraft folder and dot minecraft called um resource packs and now resource packs is going to want to change it according i mean you just want to add your texture pack to that in that area and yeah, that's our texture packs in Minecraft, guys. If you like that video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.